everybody. I want to share this video with you today, and it has a bit of a backstory to it. There was a time where I was struggling on what to do with my videos and blog posts, and at the time I was consulting with Victoria Nix of DecodedPlants.com, and she gave me some encouragement by saying, even if all you know how to do is hard boil an egg, then you know a skill that somebody else does not know. And if you share that with them and they learn something new, then you've accomplished what you set out to do. So in that spirit, let's hard boil some eggs. First thing I want you to do is start off with some farm fresh eggs. And if you don't have the ability to have eggs yourself, then take the steps to get them. Either go out and elect new officials that will rewrite your city ordinances so that you can keep hens, so that you can have eggs. Or if you're in an apartment situation and there's no way you're ever going to be able to keep hens, then be a part of the local community. Get down to the farmer's market and buy something that was produced locally and that was taken care of with some love. These are eggs from our property and it's what we'll be using today. Now don't get me wrong, I know that there's a dozen different ways that you can go online and find how somebody does a hard boiled egg. I've seen it myself. I've seen the steamed eggs, I've seen the baked eggs, I've seen everything else. But you know, no matter what one is your preference, it's probably your preference because it's fail proof and it's always worked for you. Well, this is my fail proof. I always start with my empty pan and add the eggs into the bottom. Cold water on the eggs until it's about a half inch to an inch over the eggs. If your eggs float, they're bad. You shouldn't be using them. So you should easily be able to get an inch above your eggs. Now, farm fresh eggs, cold water, now we apply the heat. I like to start mine on high and I'm going to let this come to a boil and I'm going to let it boil for about 10 minutes. But I'll be honest with you, when I'm making hard boiled eggs, typically it's a, a, a back thought. It's on the back burner quite literally in this case. But usually I'm doing something else, and if this boils for 10 minutes or 15 or even 20, so long as I know that the water hasn't come down to below the tops of the eggs, I don't worry about it so much. But I think 10 minutes is going to give me what I want. I'm sure there's a lot of variables on why your mileage might vary, but you can see it's taken about 8 minutes for this amount of water to boil for me. I'm now going to turn it down to a 6 and give it another 10 minutes on a good steady boil. Okay, these guys have been going for 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and take them off the heat. And now is when we need to act a little more quickly, so let's cool them down. Okay, however you can cool your eggs as quickly as possible, that's what I say you should do. Try to do whatever you can to cool them down as quick as possible. And there are scientific reasons behind this. Right now, even in this hot water, the eggs are still cooking. And what we're really trying to do is stop that process. We want to stop the cooking as quickly as we possibly can. So however you can cool them off, whatever is the easiest way for you, go ahead and do that. Y'all, if I were not on video, I would have dumped these eggs into a strainer and just used the same pot with some cold water and a little bit of ice. But this is the easiest way to get the job done for the video. So what does this accomplish? Well, if you've ever hard boiled an egg and the yolk is coming out a little green, that's because it overcooked. And doing this cools down the egg more quickly and stops that cooking process. There's also some belief, and I've had mixed results, so take it with a grain of salt, but there's some belief that this also makes the peeling process easier. I'll do another video about peeling another time. That's a whole other subject. Uh, but what you should be interested in is cooling them down as quick as possible. It will make your eggs better. So that cooling process only takes maybe two minutes. It doesn't have to take a long time at all. You just get your eggs out of the water and you're done. I promise you that is a perfectly hard-boiled egg. But how do you really know? Well, how do you really know? That that's a perfectly hard-boiled egg by peeling it of course and finding out what it looks like on the inside but if there's something that has more controversy than the right way to hard cook an egg 
it's probably how to peel it. So come back next time and I'm going to show you how I've always peeled an egg and that it's always worked for me, but I'm also going to try something new that I've seen and we'll see whether or not it's any better than the way I've always done it. But before you go, head down to the comments below and let me know what is your fail-proof method of hard cooking an egg. You've got to have one. There's one that you always go to that's the easy and quick way for you to always get that perfect hard cook egg. Share it with everybody below so that maybe they can try more than just my method. Then come back next time and see how we're going to crack these eggs. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.